Welcome to today's Simplicity Specialty Training. Today's specialty training is on uh, document generation. As you can see, we're on the home screen now. If I go into an account, the doc folder is one place where you can generate a document. You can also generate a document next to the debtor's name by using this icon here. You can see here that we've got a number of templates already uploaded to the system. Today we're just going to uh, go through briefly how to create a DocGen template and upload it to your system. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I've got one pulled up already. Okay, so this is my basic template. A lot of the templates that you may have uh, may be much more involved than this with a lot more information. Um, for the sake of example, we're going to keep it pretty simple today. So as you can see, I've got my, um, my Word template here. The first step I'm going to take is to go to um, Help, and I'm going to go to Gen Help. This does give you a step-by-step -step breakdown of this process. The first step is to download the Mail Merge CSV data source. So we'll click on this icon. And we're going to open up this spreadsheet. Okay. So this throws some people off because all it is is a spreadsheet with one row of data. What these are is each of the field labels within your Simplicity. Okay, so what we're doing is we're merging your field labels from Simplicity with your Word document. So when you download your data source, we'll do File and then Save As. going to save this as our specialty training data source. And then we're going to close out of this particular spreadsheet completely. If this is open while we try to do the next step, it will not work. Okay, so we're going to go back to our template. And we're going to go to mailings. We're going to go to mailings. We'll do select recipient and click use existing list. Okay, from here what we're going to do is we're going to find our specialty training data source. Okay, now that we have selected that um, data source, these options are now available where they were not before. And that brings us to our next step. Um, our next step is to um, then merge our fields with our um, template. Then what we're going to do is take a look at our template and decide which fields we want to automatically populate when a letter is generated on an account. Okay, so we'll just start at the top. This is our current date. If we go to Insert Merge Field, there's two ways to do this. If I click on the top portion of the icon, you can see a list pops up. Current date is just that. If I type in, if I start to type in current, it'll take me to that section of my list, and I'll have to scroll down, and we'll find current date and click Insert. Okay, so now what this does is it inserts that merge field into my document so that when I generate this document on my account, the current date will generate there rather than any static text. So if I were to generate this document tomorrow, then 5-17-2016 would show on my document. We're going to do the same thing for our debtor name. 
the other way to do this is to just populate um, a list. It takes quite a bit longer to scroll, so you can choose which is going to be more effective for you. Okay, so we're going to find debtor first name and insert it into our document. Any formatting that you want to have between your text, you'll want to have the same formatting between your field labels. Okay, so for example, there's a space between my debtor first name and the middle initial. When I insert my merge field, I'm still going to leave that space. Otherwise, all of my information, when it's generated on my document, will run together. Okay, we'll do the same for our last name. And click Insert. Okay, so this is how it's going to look on your document when you do um, the debtor full name. So you can do it first, middle, and last. Next, we'll do our address. So we can highlight this. And again, anything that um, is debtor information will begin with the word debtor. So we're going to find debtor address one. From here, we'll find debtor address two. Okay, so we're going to find Better City. And again, we want to keep the same formatting, so we're going to leave the comma. Find Better State. And Better Zip Code. So here I've got my client. We're going to find client name. You can choose either the full name or the short name. Go ahead and choose full name. Our account number, we get a lot of questions about this one. Um, it is not under account number, it's under case number. So that will display the account number from Simplicity. For this field here, I'm going to choose Current Balance Due and click Insert. Okay, so now that we've got all of our merge fields included in our template, we'll go ahead and save our changes. And we're going to go back to Simplicity. From here, we'll go to Settings, we'll go to DocGen Templates, and this is where we're going to upload our template. We'll choose our file, okay, so we've chosen our file, we're going to name the template in Simplicity. We're going to leave it as mail merge, and we'll click Upload. Okay, so now this template is available to generate in our system. So let's go back to an account. And we'll just generate the document right here. If we go to our specialty training document, and generate. Okay, this is going to show you all of the information um, that we put in as merge fields is now individualized to this account. You can see here this is where we put our address to field. 
There was no address 2 on this particular account, so it remains blank. If I were to generate these documents in bulk through the bulk account manager, do that quickly. So I just clicked View because we only have 55 accounts in this particular training file. Okay, so if I were to generate this document on all of these accounts, and click Perform Selected Actions, it's going to take just a minute to generate. <coughs> Excuse me. But what this is going to do is it's going to create one document with 55 pages. What this is allowing um, is for me to just print from one document rather than pulling up 55 separate um, documents to print. I can just click print on this one document and it's going to print out all of these individualized letters. Okay, any questions about um, the mail merge process or merge fields? Um, I have a question about where the documents end up being saved. Like, are they saved to each account then? Um, you know, at this time, there's not, they are not saved um, when they are generated. Um, what you can do is you can download them to your desktop and then upload them to the doc folder. Okay. okay. So you can upload the file. Um, if you have created it on your individual account, um, if you created it in bulk, um, you can copy and paste into an individualized file, something like that. Um, so at, at this time, that's not an option. Uh, but we can certainly suggest it to our programming team for a future release. Okay, so it is recorded here in the notes that that document was um, generated. Are there any other questions? So just so I understand, if you do a one-off um, document generation, and will that be uploaded to the doc folder automatically, or do you still have to do the manual upload? You would still have to do the manual upload. So what you would do, is you would take this and do a file save as, save it to somewhere right. like your desktop, and mm -hmm. then either drag and drop it to the doc folder of the individual account or click the upload button. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Sure. Any other questions? I'll give you just a couple more seconds for any questions. All right, if there are no other questions, we'll go ahead and conclude today's training. Thanks so much for attending.